hello traders this strategy is made up of just two indicators the william percent range and the 60 period moving average simple moving average so how does this indicators the combination of these two indicators give us a good signal in trading boom and crash as you all know my name is Akin Lakin. i am the lead instructor from kinefx academy i welcome you to this beautiful strategy if you are a forex beginner and you are finding a suitable strategy that will help you grow your small account i welcome you to this video congratulations for finding this video so with what you can see on the indicator window this is just Williams percent range. So I will show you the settings for these indicators before I start anything so that we can go together. So you know how to add indicator. So just click on let me just delete it first so that we can do that together for the sake of beginners. You understand? So just click on the F shape here. Then come to oscillator the indicator is under oscillator you can see it here williams percent range click on it so this is the settings the period 48 the level 90 and 10 so this two level is label over value and under value you can label it over value and under follow so just click on done after that you can label it and you can leave it so you know i don't label it before so i just put the label now so the second one is go back to the main chart you will click on the f plus on the main chart then find the moving average the period is 60 shift to zero method simple apply to close style for pixel you can use any color of your choice i just decide to use black you see this uh moving average as you all know uh you know that we use moving average for trend to dictate the market trend you understand so anytime the this the indicator on the um williams percentage enter this zero to sorry we have do something wrong this has to be the 90 and this has to be the 10 but it doesn't really matter you can change it on your chart the area of interest is that when this moving average come to this over follow region it should be under follow region we have the wrong thing let's go back to williams percentage just click on these settings this settings here just put here as 10 then here as 90 so then click on done yes we are now right so down here is on the follow region down here is on the follow region and here is so far follow region you know another indicator like um stochastic rsi we call it overbought and oversold it's still the same thing don't let that confuse you so anytime you see the williams percentage at the you know crash we want to buy on crash so your area in, of interest is when a spike when a spike carry this moving average under this uh, william percentage to the under value which is under value you know this is light nine once it's break the 90 lines and it's come to under follow region when it spike carry the moving average to the under follow region like this you know this spike carry the moving average to the under follow region that is your area of interest you will be at a lot that you want to buy so when do you buy you buy when the price the candles crosses the 60 period moving average it tell you that the markets begin the uptrend you understand it tell you the market begin the uptrend you are trading the breakout of that moving average once you see any candle that break this moving average you count your five candle and assist the trade 
as simple as that as simple as that first confirmation is when a spike happen and a spike carry this moving halfway to this level which is under value under it crosses the 90 then you will patiently waiting wait for market to cross the 60 period moving average then you count your five candle and assist the trade you understand first of all you must confirm it's the uh, moving average get to the under value then you enter your count your five candle you will see your five candle here before the spike you must make sure the cross happen this is also valid you must make sure it has touched here before anything then it cross here so you enter for your five candle and assist the trade another one here spike bring the moving average to the under value then it crosses here you count your five candle five candle here you are six trade this strategy is applicable for all boom and crash markets let's check the boom 1000 it helps you to um to like raise a very small account you understand like here our explanation meets up it touches the you know we are using the value in boom you know other way around we have to turn it other way around for boom markets you know that crash so now we have already get three candle below the crossing so we only have two candle left should we try the two candle left so let us sell the two candle left So let's see how it go. We only have the two candle left. We have one, two, three. The third candle is closing now. So after that, we have two candle left. We have to cut five candles after the break of this line. So we are selling on boom. So you can see. You can see here. It touches here. It's about to break its spike up on that's why you have to wait for the candle that break is to close spike up on so you can later find your entry here again it gives you another signal here you count your five candle because it doesn't get to this is still valid to walk it through you understand so that is how the strategies work that is how the strategies work you can see another one here it touches it it's break it see your five candle it touch, you can see multiple signal a lot of signal in a day a lot of signals in a day after the close of this one so at the close of this candle now at the close of this candle we close the trade because it already complete five if you count it one two three four five and we close it if that candle just close so that is how the strategies work the strategy is very effective the candle has closed so we close the trade we don't enter very quick so we have we enter after three candles so at least we still pick something in the market so that is how the strategies work go to your demo account and do some back testing you understand you have to build the confidence in the strategy by yourself i can only give you strategies idea like idea about markets so the percent rate of this strategy is i will give it 90 you understand because if a spike is going to cash you in a day it can more than one time and you will have seen up to more than 20 entry before one spike you understand so a strategy is an idea about markets so it's left to you to build the confidence your risk management your money management your entry your position it's left to you so the strategy may fail you due to, due to all that if you don't take note of that so i only give you the strategy it's left to you to make the strategy work so guys i wish happy trading and always trade responsible um if you have any question drop it under the comment section my contact details is under the description of this video and we drop signals on our telegram channel if you are here to join that this um link to the channel is under the description of this video so I wish you happy trading and always trade responsible. Thank you.